Today, we're gonna compare between two pieces of software, Rhino and FreeCAD. Rhino is a very famous 3D modeling software, which is based on a non-uniform rational basis supply. It is a multitasking, versatile software. It can be used in architecture, engineering, prototyping, jewelry design, industry, graphic design, and even automotive design. FreeCAD is a free open-source software. It is used in 3D modeling for architecture or MEP work, mechanical and electrical. The software offers multiple features and solutions for designs, such as simulation, 3D modeling for architecture and sketching, which you can also use in pipeline design. The software enables designers to make both 2D and 3D shapes. Rhino's interface is pretty simple. On top of that, you have the menu where you can find all the commands organized by function. You also have a toolbar that contains graphical icons. You can also have access to another list of commands by right-clicking on some commands on the toolbar. The viewport on Rhino allows you to get the working environment of the software. At the bottom of the interface, you can find the coordinate system used by Rhino. Rhino is also a very powerful software in terms of performance and analyzing products. It is a very helpful software for evolution. It helps you to do 3D printing. The software is widely used in interior design. In addition, it allows you to have a quick preview of the design before the construction, which clients generally ask for to approve the work. The software also works well in big urban projects. Rhino is a great software to transform your ideas into a real 3D visualization. It only has a small issue related to precision compared to other CAD and MOD software. It is not preferable to use it for manufacturing or to make production and realization plans. It is mostly used in the early stages of the design or just to make a visualization of the model. Another great feature that exists in Rhino is the parametric modeling used in Grasshopper which is a great option to gain time and effort that will help you use the components in other projects and change the parameters of the object. The software also supports multiple 3D files, so you can export your 3D to multiple types of files, such as 3D Save, 3DS Import, DWG, DXF, FBX Export, IGES Export, and KML Export. Rhino can model all the shapes that you can imagine. The software doesn't have a special configuration that you need to set up to start working with it. By using Rhino, you can create points, curves, curves from objects, surfaces from points, or surfaces from curves. You can also create solids like sphere, cylinder, pyramid, and cone. In addition to that, the software allows you to create meshes from nerve surfaces or a closed polyline. Rhino has developed features to offer, such as Sub-B, which will help designers to make high-precision organic shapes, blenders that allow you to avoid creating a simpler blending surface, and also Adapter Surf, which allows you to log the history to modify the controlled points of the adapted surface. The interface of FreeCAD is very simple as well. All the basic tools and commands are displayed on the top of the interface. In addition to this, you can customize the interface of the software. It is built in GUI mode, which means it uses parametric model support to make the work of the designer faster so as to save time and effort. FreeCAD has a great modeling engine called Carnal that allows you to create very complicated forms. FreeCAD is also based on the workbench. Every set of tools that has the same tasks are grouped. You can also switch from a workbench to another, and by that, commands and tools change. But the content of the scene doesn't change. The software has been developing and offering new updates since 2002. In addition, it offers a lot of good features. It is very useful software in terms of high-precision 3D. You also have the possibility to check the history of the work and change parameters if needed. If you need FreeCAD to do mechanical pieces design or any small object design, you definitely need to work on part design workbench. If you need to work on 2D only, then you have to use Draft Workbench and Arc Workbench if you need to work on Beam. 
If you have a complex object to work on, you need to use the Part Design Workbench. It will enable you to start from a simple model, using features to add and remove pieces until you get the final shape you are looking for. All the features you used in this process will be saved in a tree view. This will help you make any changes you want and the final object will be changed too. The software can open many file format, especially for 3D print such as OBJ, STL, and DAE. FreeCAD also has so many add-ons to be integrated, so as to develop the software and the workbench you use the most. There are two types of add-ons, external benches, which are tools that have been programmed in Python or C++. There is also the micros, which are short snippets from Python that provides new tools. These tools are usually added to simplify a task or edit a specific object. Adding multiple tools or add-ons can eventually result in a new workbench. Since it's based on NURBS curves, Rhino is not complicated to learn at all. Knowing that it's a complete software that offers rendering features and animation, it will take you one day to get familiar with the interface of the software and another couple of days to become an expert. FreeCAD is a very easy software to start with if you have the basic knowledge in the design software world. If you are not used to work with 3D software, it may take some time to get familiar with it. However, if you ever get stuck at some point, you have the FreeCAD forum that can help you and provide you with solutions to the problems you face using the software. Rhino is a very heavy software. It needs a powerful computer with a strong processor to support it, especially when you use it for a render or animation. Since FreeCAD is a modeling and rendering software, it is better to have a strong computer with good requirements to get the best workflow and also to save time and effort because using a small medium configuration computer can cause a lot of bugs in the software and it will make the work process complicated. And now let's talk about rendering and animation. Rhino has a render toolbar, you can click on the current render and the software will provide you with a preview of your render and also a preview with full colors, textures, materials, lights and bump mapping. You can then set up the resolution of your render in render properties, set up the light and the materials, run the render and finally save it as an image. As for animation, it's the same steps, but you have an animation toolbar to use to set up the animation and then you can preview and record your video. You can set up time and sun movement through months and years. FreeCAD uses an open-source external rendering engine to produce rendering images. You can find all the necessary commands and tools on the render workbench, such as scene lighting, camera setting, and material support. FreeCAD supports multiple external rendering engines, such as Blender Cycles, Apple Seeds, LexCore Render, and Povray. Rhino is a multitasking software. It can be used in architecture, in the manufacturing and industrial field, automotive design, watercraft, product design such as pieces of jewelry and small objects. FreeCAD is mostly used by designers and architects. It can be used in the industrial field, in designing robotic applications. It can also be used in the mechanical field to design small mechanical pieces because it offers such a good precision in the modeling. However, it can be used also to design any kind of small objects. Rhino 5 for Windows upgrade costs $495, while Rhino 5 for Windows costs $995. The good thing about this software is that it's one-time purchase, you don't need to upgrade your license and you get to enjoy free updates every time. Rhino 7 has a version for Mac, its price is $915. FreeCAD can run on Windows, Linux OS X, and also on Mac. It is an open source and a free software. The good thing about it is that it's available for everyone, especially students and beginners. Apart from that, everyone can contribute on developing and updating new features on the software, which is a great way to learn more and be more active in the FreeCAD community.